Tonight, tens of thousands of local Scripps patients, mostly seniors, are scrambling to figure out where they'll get their medical care next year after Scripps announced two of its health groups will no longer accept Medicare Advantage plans. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. A Scripps just started to alert its patients that their coverage will no longer be accepted. CBS 8's Shannon Handy has details, including when this takes effect and why it's happening in the first place. This change goes into effect January 1st. It impacts 32,000 patients who have Medicare Advantage plans at Scripps Clinic and Scripps Coastal. It's just a burden. David Lombardi has been a Scripps patient since January of 2020. He has a chronic condition and relies heavily on the care he receives, which makes this upcoming change a hard one to swallow. It took a lot of work to find what I consider to be the right specialist. Lombardi is one of more than 30,000 local Scripps patients who just got this letter letting them know Scripps will no longer accept Medicare Advantage plans at Scripps Coastal and Scripps Clinics starting next year. Medicare Advantage plans are privately run versions of the federal government's Medicare program, mainly for people 65 and older. That means he'll either have to enroll in a new plan to stay at Scripps, which could cost upwards of $350 more per month, or find another doctor someplace else. One, they don't know my history. Even if they get it in a chart, they're not going to know really my reactions that the specialists I'm dealing with now know. In a statement, Scripps tells CBS 8, Scripps and health systems across the country are facing unprecedented financial pressures. We are looking at all we do and when necessary, making difficult decisions to ensure that we can continue to meet the needs of the community we serve. The revenue from Medicare Advantage plans is not sufficient to cover the cost of the patient care we provide, adding Scripps tried to negotiate with private insurers for reimbursements that would cover our costs, but was unsuccessful. I spoke with Pat Salas, president and CEO of SBHIS Insurance Services, the county's largest and oldest Medicare Advantage agency. She tells me while hospitals drop plans all the time, this is the largest disruption in San Diego history. Imagine if you're that person, right? You're going to have to decide on do I pay for this expense or not? And that's that's a tough one. Her advice, if you're not able to pay more to stay, make sure you voice where you'd like to go next and check to see if they have space as many places may now get inundated with new requests. It's not like you're going to be left in the cold on January 1. You're going to still have your plan. And that plan is going to switch you to another provider. Members need to take a role and say, wait, 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 don't just put me wherever. Let me choose. At this point, Lombardi isn't sure what he's going to do, but says neither option is ideal. It's just going to be starting from ground zero again. Shanna Handy, CBS 8.